Good morning, children. It's Karen Lee reading from my living room here in South Berwick for Karen Reed. I'm glad to see you all again. It's been beautiful weather. I hope you've been outside. And if you can get out, out to Agamanicus Estates and drive out that road as if you're going to Aggies or the dump, somebody has posted the pages of a book on sticks spaced apart so you can walk along that sidewalk and read the book as you're walking. Just park at the soccer field and walk back and read the book and they've laminated the pages so that the rain won't ruin them. So check it out. I also have something that I found on somebody's driveway. They wrote a poem. I think it was about Earth Day. It's short. I'm going to read it twice because I think you always need to hear poems twice. All right. There's no title. This pretty planet spinning through space, a garden, a harbor, a holy place. Golden sun going down, gentle blue giant, spin us around. Okay, second time. This pretty planet spinning through space, a garden, a harbor, a holy place. Golden sun going down, gentle blue giant, spin us around. Thank you to whoever wrote that poem and wrote it in chalk on their driveway. All right, I have two books for you today. The first one is short. My daughter, who's 20, requested that I read it. It was one of her very favorite books when she was a girl. It's called I Love Boats by Flora McDonald. And uh, Flora McDonald has bun done a bunch of books. She's the writer and the illustrator. And one really interesting thing about her is that she lives in England and she's royalty. Her real name is Lady Flora McDonald. So her father is an Earl. It's the first time we've had anybody who created a book for us who was royalty, Lady Flora MacDonald. Okay. I love the old boat being painted red and green. I love the houseboat with a family on board. And you can see someone or even a dog in every window and all kinds of interesting stuff on board because they live there. I love the dredger scooping up the mud in the harbor. Could see one like this in Portsmouth. I love the lobster boat bobbing on the waves. And that one we're familiar with. You may have even seen a blue lobster like that one, a very special lobster. I love the ferry loading up with cars.
I love the cargo boat with lots of crates on deck. You can see these in Portsmouth. And Elliot. I love the tug towing a big ship out to sea. Somebody's waving from one of those. I love the sailboat speeding with the wind. I love the rowing boats racing around the rock. I love the trawlers bringing home the fish. You can see them coming in at night. And these you can see in Portsmouth too. Well, the firemen are going out to help someone. I love all the boats floating in my bath. So we get a surprise at the end. I wonder if Lady Flora had all those boats in her bathtub when she was a little girl. Lady, Lady Flora McDonald. Okay, the next one is quite different. Um, zin, 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 a violin. You can hear the rhyme in that. It's written by somebody called Lloyd Moss. His main job was that for 53 years he was the radio host for a classical music station in New York City. So he chose the music, he played the music, he talked about the music, and he wrote poems about the music for his kids. And eventually he gathered those into a book and found an illustrator her name is Marjorie Priceman. She's done many books. And this particular book was nominated for a Caldecott Award, Caldecott. So it's a very special book. All right, Zin 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 a Violin by Lloyd Moss, illustrated by Marjorie Priceman. With a mournful moan and silken tone, itself alone comes one trombone, gliding, sliding, high notes go low. One trombone is playing solo. Now keep track of the cats in her illustrations. She's very imaginative with her cats. Next, a trumpet comes along and sings and stings its swinging song. It joins trombone no more alone. And one and two, they're a duo. They're two-o or duo. Find French horn 
Its valves all oiled, bright and brassy, loops all coiled, golden yellow joins its fellows. Two, now three O. -oh. What a trio. All the brass instruments, as they call them. Now, a mellow friend, the cello. Neck extended, bows a hello. End pin set upon the floor. It makes up a quartet. That's four. And soaring high and moving in with zin, 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 a violin, stroking strings that come alive. Now quintet, let's count them, five. Flute, that sends our soul a shiver. Flute, that slender, silver, sliver. A place among the set it picks to make a young sextet. That's six. Cat is holding the music. With steely keys that softly click, its breezy notes so darkly slick, a sleek black woody clarinet, it's number seven, now septet. A septet. Clarinet. Gleeful, bleeding, sobbing, pleading, through it throb throbbing, double reading. Oboe, please don't hesitate. Come, make it an octet. That's eight. And you see the woman with the grand hair and the big red dress playing an oboe in the octet. That lazy clown, the big bassoon, he plays low down, we're laughing soon. Here, Grumpy, get your place in line and give us a nanette, that's nine. And look at how the other musicians are kind of going crazy, um, balancing their clarinets on their lips, lifting up their cellos over their heads, Ananette is kind of crazy with that bassoon. The harp descends with angel's wings, a heaven's blend through magic strings. And when it joins the others, then behold, a chamber group of 10. The harp and the harpist are coming down on strings. That's pretty crazy. The orchestra comes in the hall 
They're on the stage. We see them all. The cello, harp, and clarinet. The trumpet, whom we've also met. The oboe, fl oboe flute, and big bassoon, all eager to get started soon. Trombone, front horn, and violin, all poised and ready. Now begin. And the conductor has joined us with his baton. The strings all soar, the reeds implore, the bass brasses roar with notes galore. It's music that we all adore. It's what we go to concerts for. The minutes fly, the music ends, and so goodbye to our new friends. But when they've bowed and left the floor, if we clap loud and shout, encore, they may come out and play once more. Encore, encore. And that would give us great delight before we see a, say a late good night. We could see the cats curled up with a dog and a mouse and the janitor cleaning up the stage in the background. Okay, I love that book too. I hope you did. I hope you're having good days and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.